Good evening. Welcome to a Tuesday night, Twitch. Uh, it's been a while. I've been on vacation. Daniel's here with me. He's uh, had some family issues to work through, and uh, I think we're back home. We're back. We're okay. We're ready to play. Uh... I, I, well, first off, good evening, all. Uh, I am very excited to start a campaign, Mike. A camp campaign. This wasn't my idea. <laughs> and we're in it for the, we're in it for the long haul, everybody. This is back to back campaigns of Arkham and Lord of the Rings. Um, the family stuff is not entirely worked out. My wife is still in Jersey. She had to go back today because the news is not great about her mother. Um, wow. so. Sorry to hear that. Dude. I suspect, yeah, thanks. I suspect the whole family will be headed up that way shortly, sadly. Um, All right. So, yep. So we'll fight this one in, in uh, Angela's honor tonight. All right. How's that? Okay. okay. Well, let's do her proud then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I have a confession to make. I have not actually finished a campaign. Um, I, have I have a confession to make. I've never gotten past number four. Uh, we did the first one of number five. Okay, I've never gotten past that. Yeah. Uh, just <laughs> either people leave or whatnot, and that's just as far as I've gotten. Well, I think that, Mike, you and I know we will never leave each other. We've got the best shot, I think, of all these three. <laughs> so we're excited. Uh, of course, these are brand new decks that we have not tested before, so let's see what happens. But lucky for us... Unlike Arkham, we are allowed to change decks in the middle of a campaign. Uh, even if we have to keep the same hero lineup for a right. certain period, at least we can change our decks out, which is fantastic. What are you so, bringing to the table? So the thing I bring to the table is Mary Pippin, a whole mess of Ents and Treebeard, and the lovely Eowyn Tactics. Um, so I was listening to, I'm pretty sure it was C-Stan in one of the casts talking about the best thing to do with Eowyn might actually be to trigger her superpower early. That um, is certainly where I fall. Yep. And so I think we're going to see what she can do turn one against that fella in the staging area right now. Well, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but, yeah, it's just a, a fairly standard Hobbit Ent deck for the most part. All right. Uh, How about you? I, I see am... a Hobbit over there. Yeah, this is uh, a little different here. Let me let me put these cards in the order they deserve. So uh, I decided to do a Noldor deck. Um, this does not look like what it looks like. No, it isn't what it looks like. That's a better way of saying it. <laughs> so I built this deck basically around Mithron. I started with the idea of Mithron Sea Watcher. That is uh, this card right here, where if the top card in your discard pile is an ally, it gets plus two attack and gains ranged. Um, and unfortunately, him being tactics, you'd think, oh, great, I'll use Elra here and Eladan, except they are very attachment-heavy decks, and this guy doesn't really flourish. So this is a deck with a whole bunch of allies, uh, some fun shenanigans. Elrond is here not for Vilia. Vilia is not in this deck. He is here just to pay for allies and to give me access to those juicy, juicy lore cards. Uh, Sam is here for cheap willpower and access to... Uh, well, let's be honest, access to Steward of Gondor. Uh, with the idea right. being eventually get Elven, Light, and Steward of Gondor into play on Arwen so that I can draw my deck through various Noldor discard shenanigans. We'll awesome. It works. What I like to draw in my opening hand is a couple resourcefuls. I didn't this time, but uh, we'll manage. All right. So. A, whew, I'm excited. I'm so excited to start a campaign. First things first, take card number six and put it on top of your deck. Uh, this okay. module automatically draws six cards, but we have yep. Gandalf's Delay in the staging area, which means for this quest, we draw one less card in our opening hand. Okay. Awesome. Farmer Maggot will be back, I'm sure. All right. So... Well, Mike, I really miss, I miss you reading me stories. Aw. Aw. So can, you, can you read a story? A shadow of the past. The Shire, he may be seeking for it now, if he has not already found out where it lies. Indeed, Frodo, I fear that he may even think that the long unnoticed name of Baggins has become important. Which is why Frodo is now Mr. Underhill, which is a one-shot feint. Nice. Three is company. 
set up, uh, set Buckleberry Ferry aside out of play, add a black rider to the staging area, and make Bag End the active location. Shuffle the encounter deck. The ring Frodo Baggins inherited from his uncle Bilbo is indeed the One Ring. After conferring with the wizard Gandalf, Frodo decides to leave the Shire and take the ring to Rivendell. Mm. What does Bag End do for us, Daniel? Well, it's funny you should ask, Mike. Uh, it is a Shire keyword. Um, it's actually a really good thing. If, after we leave play, we draw cards for each Hobbit we control. Hey, that means I get to draw a card. Yeah, I get to draw, like, three if we do it this first turn. Well, isn't that exciting? Which we, I hope we do. Um, so, yeah. Oh, Love it. Right. Uh-oh. 1B. Stage 1B. When a player fails a high test, each Nazgul enemy in the staging area engages that player. Mm. The players cannot advance unless Bag End is in the victory display. Frodo's friends insist on joining him in his adventure, but danger finds them sooner than anticipated when Black Riders appear in the Shire. So Mike, why don't you go ahead and tell the folks exactly what the hide test is, for those, of the, those people who haven't played the campaign and don't know. Well, to answer your question, I am not telling them because I don't exactly remember. Oh, okay. Would you like me to tell them? <laughs> Please do. <laughs> it's been a while and I don't have my notes in front of me. <laughs> um, I might be wrong, but when you're forced to do a hide test, it'll be like hide test 2 or hide test 4 or something like that. Um, and you... So like this, this Black Rider is hide 2. Alright, so if he were to appear off of the encounter deck, we would have to choose one of our our people to exhaust and add their willpower. And then you'd flip that many cards off the encounter deck. And some of those cards have like a hide value. And you are trying to, or is it their threat value? We should maybe look at the notes. But it's their threat value thing, and, and you need your threat. willpower to it's equal threat. more. Yeah, you need your willpower to equal more, not equal to, but more. I yeah. think it's equal to. I hope you're right. But I thought I remember it was kind of assholey the first time I played it. <laughs> this might be our I'm... first Ask Your Scheme, folks. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, so that's like the one thing that could kind of happen to shoot my A when kills a Black Rider first round plan. Right. Yeah. Got it. Okay. But I am happy to consult notes real quick. Sure, please do. Okay, so maybe you have other things to tell the fans? Yes. Uh, okay, so uh, I have an interesting history with these campaigns. Uh, when I played solo, I absolutely rocked these first few. Absolutely rocked them. Uh, I played a Hobbit deck, and I got about halfway through. Then I switched it up, did a more Fellowship thematic deck, and oh, kind of faltered in the middle. I have... Keep talking, I have a kid screaming upstairs. Sure. <clears throat> and uh, it's been... I've been hard-pressed to keep it the same deck, and luckily you don't have to in this campaign because there's many stopover spots to change out your heroes. Uh, then I played a, uh, a four-player campaign, and we just got smashed. Uh, four-player Fog on the Barrow Downs and the Old Forest is absolutely brutal. We actually didn't do either of them. Which is unfortunate because those boons have some very, uh, very cool side effects. Uh, for those that haven't played the print on demands, each one has got a little bonus scenario in the campaign, and by completing them, you get some small bonus. One of them is a one shot test of will, basically, and the other one is, uh, I don't even remember, but it sticks in your hand. And what's neat about them is that one of them is, a, is an attachment. And even if you don't trigger it, it's useful because it can it gives you some fodder against these nasty shadow effects that say discard an attachment you control. So I like keeping these things in hand, not to use them, but just to you know mitigate the effects of the encounter deck. Uh, later on, we'll see a quest where you actually need to keep a lot of cards in your hand or you die, and it's nice to have Ho Bomb Bomb Ho Tom Bombadil in your hand just to to help keep your your hand size up. So with two of us. I think we can do it. Was that perfect timing or what? Did you say nice things about me? Oh, I gave him wonderful stories. Oh, thank you. Yeah, not surprisingly, the frat boy party next door has kept my child awake. <laughs> She's like, I know it's really late, but I cannot sleep. Aww. And I'm like, dude, 
I don't blame you. All right, so are you ready for what a hide test means? Yeah. Okay. When a player is instructed to make a hide test, that player may, may exhaust any number of characters he controls to commit them to the test. Then that player discards the top X cards of the encounter deck, uh, add the total threat of the discarded cards compared to the total willpower of the characters committed. If the total threat of the discarded cards is greater than the total of all characters committed, they fail. All oh, right. good. So, we can so you're right. It is equal. Good. Okay. And then there's an action window at a convenient place for us as well. Excellent. Yep. Okay. So we've uh, just arbitrarily chosen the original version of Frodo. Uh, despite people's preferences, I actually like all three almost equally. Uh, even that Elf on a Shelf version that we get later, I really, really like for his ability to just auto boost his willpower on a dime. Okay. But I think Mike, hold fun. on. Mike, hold on one second. Elsa, you have got to go to bed. <laughs> this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. There will be no fireworks tomorrow. All right, you can go. Go grab Penguino. Go grab Penguino. Mike, I'll be right back. Yeah. Forgive me. Uh, so this version of Frodo Baggins, as a response, we can spend one of his special fellowship resources and exhaust the one ring to cancel the effects of an encounter card just revealed from the encounter deck. Uh, nine times out of ten, after you use this ability, you draw the card that does something awful if the one ring is exhausted. At least that's my experience. So, let's see what Daniel's got here. Not bad. That's a bit of a... Hmm. I don't know what to think about that. Daron's Runes is a great card, but we have some nice cards here that I'm not sure he wants to ditch. Treebeard is definitely something he wants to play turn one. Or, uh, yeah, he can play turn one, can't he? With that Frodo Baggins. I suspect that's what he's going to do, uh, unless he decides to save his pennies and just pull out a chump blocker for perhaps a difficult black rider. Uh, so what's unfortunate about my hand is that I don't have Elven Light. That's kind of the linchpin that drives this deck, because once you get that, you just start your the ball rolling for your discard shenanigans. Um, in fact, I got my lovely Mithlon Sea Watcher in my hand, but no allies to discard. Sorry, this probably happens all the time when my wife is out here with them. <laughs> and I would never know. Oh, Lord. All right, what were you saying? You oh, told just... me about how I was going to like something, but then... Uh, yeah, I had two people. <laughs> <laughs> Control N! <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All hey, right. it's Farmer Maggot. All so, right, so... I was predicting what you would play. Let's find out. Okay. Well, first I'm doing that. Oh, you are doing that first. Okay. Well, I would really like a resourceful to show up. Mm. Ouch. <laughs> what you do? Um, I might get rid of... Peace and thought. Um, and then I'm not going to dare on runes again. But I'll send up a guy to get eaten by a black rider. That's what I thought might happen. And then that's it. All right. Well. Popcorn's ready. Uh, yeah, let's sorry. put Light of Valinor on Elrond. So I am vulnerable because I don't have a resource for a test of will. And I'm going uh, to save my pennies. Oh, you well, know I'm sure what? nothing bad. No, what am I nothing bad can happen. Don't worry about it. Doi. <laughs> what am I doing? Ah, there you go. What am I doing? Well, right now you're doing the right thing. Have I told you guys how we haven't tested these decks yet? And I built it two weeks ago, so I'm trying to remember how it works. Okay. All right. Let's quest. Right. I'm only going to bring these four. Six. Really? Can you, tap, can you tap Frodo for me? Sure. Oh, I'm sorry. 
No, I'm sorry. Never mind. I'm bringing ten. Uh, I'm bringing nine. Okay. That seems like a lot. It does, doesn't it? Please don't make me have to do a hide test. Uh, I am almost guaranteeing you that you're going to have to do a hide test. Thanks. In fact, no, seriously, I think as soon as we get to the next stage, we do a hide test. Oh, you're totally right. Maybe hold back Eowyn. Yeah, I think I have to. That's okay. I seem like we have a lot. We have 15 to 4 right now. All right. Uh, so this uh, campaign rules are we each draw our own cards. So this is your card. Peril and Surge. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I'm going to give that to Mary. Okay. I am not allowed to cancel that because it's Peril. That's right, and it and surges. This is also your card. Okay, what do we got here? Rora, road like a gale. Returning to engage in Asgul. Okay. There it is. Awesome. So we've got two of these okay. guys in the staging area now. Okay. And uh, my card. Nope, nope. I mean, we have two hide. We have a hide test that I have to make. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, as soon as an encounter card comes off with the hide keyword, you make a hide test. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> um, I'm happy to check that rule, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. All right. Um, when an encounter card with a hide X is revealed, the player who revealed it must make a hide test right then. Yep. Okay. Uh, if the encounter card with the hide X keyword also says one revealed or forced effect, it must be resolved before the rest of the card. So... My Nazgul. Okay, well, Eowyn will make my height test. Okay. So that is a tie. So that's a pass. That's a height two, so you discard two cards. Oh, right. That's Thank a pass. God. That's a pass. Okay. My now, your card. card. Green Hills Country. Two. All right. So we beat it by five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So draw your cards. Oh my god. This is uh this is agonizing. One, two, three. Okay. And that goes to the victory display. A shortcut to mushrooms. As Frodo watched, he saw something dark pass along the lighter space between two trees and then halt. It looked like the black shade of a horse led by a smaller black shadow. The black shadow stood close to the point where they had left the path, and it swayed from side to side. Frodo thought he heard the sound of snuffling. The shadow bent to the ground and then began to crawl towards him. When revealed, the first player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a black rider, reveals it, and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. This might right. be a uh, short level. Okay. After an engaged player fails a head test, Black Rider makes an immediate attack. Now that's all three of them, right? Uh, yeah, and each Nazgul and the enemy engages that player, uh, according to a shortcut to Mushrooms. So you know what? We have, this is a scoop, because you just got hit by three Nazgul. Well, I can I can trigger Eowyn right now. Well, that's true. And it's not the dream scenario for us. It certainly is not. Um, uh, dude, maybe we shouldn't have even like quested. This is a terrible draw. We got <laughs> probably one right, of the worst. So I'm going to trigger Eowyn right now. Okay. Okay. So I will then use her for the hide test. And it's okay. a pass. Okay. 
Well. Um. <laughs> okay, so that's a hide value of, or uh, a threat value of one because you have one ally. All right. right. Wow. I'm not worried. I'm a little worried. You're a little worried? <laughs> I'm a little worried. Okay, so... Oh, I accidentally threw out a card that... There. Okay. That's your card. Oh, thanks. Oh, that would have been bad. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Let's just say we're, uh... It's a rough start. Yeah. To we're Green okay, Hill. though. To Green Hill Country? I kind of like that. That effect. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and let's see if we can stay there forever. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so we've got to deal with some Nazgul. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're not dealing with some Nazgul. We're just not. I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's very tricky for me to do that. Um, I have Treebeard coming next round. But the problem with these Ents is they're slow. Yeah, we're just going to have to muscle through it for now. Um, hold on a sec. Keep our threats as low as possible. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't have yeah. that many turns left. <laughs> oh, but you're right. I mean, that's what we've got to do. Yeah. At least we have All Mr. Right. Underhill. If we yep. absolutely need to. Yep. Oh, boy. I got my Elven Light. Okay. Oh, that is so good. All right. Let's uh, steward of Gondor up Arwen. Okay. All right. I'm going to pitch Elven Light to give Elrond a resource. I'm going to pull back Elven Light. I'm going to spend two for. Why didn't I do that first? No, never mind. Never mind. No. We're going to do. <laughs> Oh man, that is too good. No, nope, we're gonna do this slow because I want Galdar next turn. That is far too incredible. Okay, are you done? Yep, I'm done. All right, I'm gonna put fast hitch on Mary, <clears throat> and I'm gonna put uh, two daggers on him. Holy moly! I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, I hope we have condition removal, which we don't. Oh. Um, so he's now attacking for I'm essentially seven. I'm shuffling my condition removal in the deck. <laughs> I had him in my All right, so Just shuffle he's it. got... He hits almost enough to kill a Black Rider alone. So let's remember that. Okay. Um... I'm going to so because of that. Oh, if that's the case, I'm not I'm not getting Treebeard out, um, but that's okay. All right, uh, I'm done. I'll have some range coming next turn. Okay, we have twelve threat in the middle. I know. Uh, sorry, dude, you got to quest all out. That's okay. I have fast hitch. All right, so I've got eight that I'm bringing to the party. I've got 11. Okay. My Your card, card. Pathless Country. Okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, so this is a hide test. Oh, and that's you. And it's Peril. Okay. Um, Unrevealed. If you have failed eye test this phase, remove each character you control from the quest. All right, so we haven't, right? That's right. Now, um, <laughs> here's where the scoop might happen. Um, all right, I have two. Yeah. Passed. You passed. Two to one. But I am tapped out, sadly. Doesn't matter. We passed. We're still alive. Okay, so... Um, 
we beat it by my count five. Uh, yeah. One, one, two, three, four, five. That's progress. Oh, yeah, you, you was... got a plus one. You got a plus one to that. Oh, right, because of, yeah. Yeah. Green Hill Country. So I was going to draw down a Black Rider, too. Well, that's all right. We'll... I think I need to not do that right now. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We'll push through. Uh, right. I'm going to travel to Pathos Country because okay. let's not keep dealing with that. We've already got enough Nazgul in the staging area. Ready We're for control in? Yeah, that was kind of quick. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there's a resourceful. Great. Yeah. Um, I get Frodo over here, right? So this is the time where I want to take a Nazgul. You know, uh, what have you got? You do have Frodo's intuition. Okay, yeah, I see. Um, yeah. I do not need Frodo's fellowship resources. So by all means, okay. use them for resourcefuls if you want to. I will be bringing out Treebeard. That bark you heard in the background was our own resident warg. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Okay. Oh, and since true, hold on, hold on a sec. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, these were my things. So, so I'm going to actually do one, two. I'm gonna take control of Frodo here. One, two. Um, three, four for Treebeard. Okay. Okay. And then one, two for a damage quick beam. Nice. There we go. All right, I'm pitching Elven Light to give Elrond a resource, and I am pulling it back. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. That is my Steed <laughs> of Enladris. Oh, nice. One, two, three, four for Galdor of the Haven. So we, uh, after this round, I'm going to run up to upstairs to deal with my other daughter. Sure, will do. Sounds good. So, oh. thank you, Kevin, for that. Lindir is kind of my fail-safe if I don't draw my Elven Lights, but because I did, okay. I think I'm okay. He's a good card. He is. Do I want to draw him? No, you know what? I'm going to save him. I know it's silly. It's silly, but I'm one resource shy. All right. Seriously. So I'm ready to go. Okay. I'm actually not bringing Mary this time, so I'm going to go eight again this way. Okay. I'm bringing... We need to kill an Asgul. I'm bringing 11. Okay. So that if is you want 19 to 12. Okay. That's fine. Because you have the, you're potentially doing high tests. Yep. Actually, we're that's both Mary's job, and tests. Mary and Quickbeam can do that. Okay, I am discarding Elven Light to Steed of Imladris to put two progress on the active location, triggering what a, Galdor's what a location uh, ability to draw a card, and pulling back Elven Light to draw a card. Hi, <laughs> hi. <laughs> That's combo horrific, oh, my friend. I love this. I'm liking this. Okay. Your card. Doomed two. No. Thank you. We are still doomed, however, right? I know. I am one threat away. The first player must either exhaust the one ring or raise his threat. So what happens if I exhaust the ring? Nothing, right? Uh, I just can't. I just can't. I can't do test of will, right? Basically. So I will ex. I'll raise my threat by three. No. Yes, I will. Okay. That's fine. It surges, however, into pathless another country. pathless country. Oh boy. So we win by five again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go to Pathless Country again. I am in dire straits here. Okay. I will take a Nazgul. Bum -ba -da -da. I will draw a card for that. 
Yeah, you will. <clears throat> All right. Um... Uh, Daniel? Yes, sir. Okay, we'll finish this round, and then we should do our little disconnect with your audio. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll just disconnect while I'm upstairs with my daughter. Okay. Um, all right, so here's what needs to happen. He is going to die. He is dead. Valiantly. So now help me do the math here. So Mary is attacking four, Two. three for all the hobbits, and seven for the daggers, right? Correct. Eight, nine, ten. They take him out. Boom. That's pretty cool. Well done, sir. And now Mary will ready quick beam. Because huh. he can. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> um, all, right. all right, so let's control N. And then you can go upstairs and I'll think about my turn. I'll disconnect. You talk to the fans. Will do. All right, hold on. Hopefully, I can reconnect. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be real funny. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Okay, so, oh, look at all the juiciness here. Uh, we've got him, our Mythlon Sea Watcher. Protector of Lorien is amazing. Well, let's uh, Steward of Gondor up here. I feel like I've got enough for willpower at the moment. I'm eyeing these guys and not liking that. So regardless, I have to put a Protector of Lorien on our fun Elrond here. Uh, there's <clears throat> no way around that. The question is, do I want to get out one of my other toys? Okay, so I'll pitch an Elven Light to give Elrond a one resource. I will immediately draw it back to my hand. Oh, I like that. I hope he doesn't have Glea Wine in his deck. <laughs> Let's spend two for a Mythlond Sea Watcher. And go from there. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, because then I can pitch a card. Oh, I can pitch a card here. Oh yeah, we're totally good. We are totally good. With our uh, Protector of Lorien, Elven Light's going to be drawing me quite a bit. So what have we got here? Oh boy! I am back. I uh, just finished up. I've got some fun shenanigans coming. What have you got? I finished up. I got, you know, stuff. Oh, did you disconnect to your audio? Yeah. Okay. Do I sound different? Nope, just making sure. Uh, yep, I disconnected when I went upstairs. Um, Frodo is yours right now, right? Yes, he is. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to day rounds runes. See what we come up with here. Okay. Going to get rid of one resourceful. And. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what? I might actually save my money. Oh, really? I don't know what I would. I guess I could bring out the Sentinel or the Warrior. Right? Ooh, 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 ooh. Is that what you would want me to do? I like. Oh, yeah. I like the Jernvinkle Warrior a lot. That's what I, I would thinking. do in your place, but I can also see why and... you might want to save your pennies for a. Oh, yeah. You're going to save three or three. For okay. a farmer That's maggot who. Farmer Maggot who hits a Nazgul. That's the only thing, right? Like, are there any enemies in this deck besides Nazgul? No. Oh well, then I don't. Not think that I remember. Then I don't think you need Farmer Maggot. 
Well, let's hope to God you're right. <laughs> All right. All right. And then a wandering ent will surely appear soon as well. Awesome. Um, I am going to get killed by something. Um, oh, great. You seem committed to that. Don't forget, you have Mr. Underhill. Mm, yep, I have a Mr. Underhill. Right. Um, I guess I do have and, Protector of Lorien. So, yeah. Well, and um, you have Galdor. Oh, I'm not discarding Galdor. Well, and you have a Mythlon Sea Watcher. I mean, like... Oh, that's for you, buddy. That's just for you. Well, I don't care if you throw it in front of a tank. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you ready for the fun? I'm ready for the fun, man. Okay. Then let's quest. I'm bringing... I'm bringing eight. I'm bringing eight. I am pitching so... a card to put two progress on Pathless Country and immediately okay. drawing it back. Okay. I am then going to pitch Elven Light for Protector of Lorien to give Elrond a plus one and draw back. Okay. I am going to do that again. I will be taking yeah. an Nazgul, so don't go, don't freak out. There we go. Okay. I am liking what I'm seeing. Okay, so we are up uh, 16 to 8. You're not bringing Frodo on the quest, by the way? Nope. Uh, I'm at 11, by the way. Oh, okay. 19 to 8. We're up 11. Yeah, so I think we're good. I'm leaving this open in case I have to do another hide test. Okay. <clears throat> All right. My card. Surge. Attached to mount. He gets minus... 10 engagement and jumps around in the staging area. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. That is awful. Maybe one ring it. Yeah, I am going to one ring it. Which is essentially... Eleanoring it, right? Yeah. So you'll draw it right now? Yeah, or I'll draw a worse one. Okay. Your card. Okay, so let's let, right, let's do mine first here. After a player fails a high test, shuffle a Nazgul enemy from the discard pile into the encounter deck, if able. Okay. Stockbrook. When revealed, immediately travel to Stockbrook. If another location is currently active, return it to the staging area. Okay. Well... Okay. So we beat this. Well, now Pathless Country is in there, so it's 14. It looks like we win by 5, which is our usual number. No, nope, that's not right. What's 8 plus 5? That's generally 13, right? So we won by we 6. We win by 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this goes to the victory display. All right. Okay, let's travel back to the Pathless. Actually, let's go to the Marish. Yeah, might as well. Um, okay. All right. It's exciting. This is very exciting. All right. So um, I will take. I will take a Nazgul. Are you going to kill said Nazgul? Well, here's what it is. I don't think I am. So I've got Mary, who's attacking for. One, two, six only, right? Two daggers and two hobbits. Right. I'm going to be one short unless you shoot an arrow my way. I am definitely going to shoot an arrow your way. Then I will kill. So give me the guy with the steed. I'd say without the steed. Because if, Why? You're, because if you think you're going to be killing Nazgul, you can trigger Pippin. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I will be killing Nazgul. 
So then I'll take this guy. Okay. Do you have any way that you could drop a uh, resource on Treebeard? Nada. Uh, wait. No, because he's, pretty... he's not a hero, so I won't be able to do that. Oh, all right. Because that'd be pretty cool if you could. That totally would. Right. Not going to lie. All right. So, good luck. All right. Uh, let's pitch a couple cards. I'm going to pitch an Elven Light and a Veteran Sword Elf to boost my defense by two. With my Who's veteran, defending? Uh, Elrond. Okay. So he's got a five defense? He's got a five defense. All right. Uh-oh. Good. Yeah. And you? Hey, looking at your shadow card makes me think that we missed something. Oh, no, that's not the stock rook or whatever. Okay, never mind. Um, I will be defending with Treebeard. All right. I can live with two damage. All right. Okay. So, uh, what can I do here? Oh, so Sam actually triggers. Yep. No, it doesn't do anything. I actually should have quested. Oh, I need him. to draw a card. I too, totally well. should have quested with Sam. That was a bad misplay. Zane Silverbeard. How awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we'll be seeing him this quest. <laughs> All right. So, Mythlon okay. Sea Watcher is now a ranged three attack ally. All right. Well, so you're not attacking yours, right? No, no point. All right. Okay. Kill my guy. And can you please stand the Mithlin Sea Watcher? Sure. Because maybe you and Sam can do something. You can hit it for one. No, because I already had my attack. Oh, you already did your thing, right? Yeah. Oh, oh whatever. Well. I like standing, folks. All right. Same reason when I play uh, Brand, I'll stand anybody, to, you know, whatever. All right, so your guy bounces back to the staging area. Yeah. Oh, man, this is going to be a little painful because I actually have to discard What's everything that? into my discard pile now because I have whatever's on top cards. Oh, right. Which includes my Elven Light, but yeah. Okay, so he, yeah, he goes back to the staging area, which is fine. We can deal with that. And we control N. And we control N. I think we have this one under control. Uh oh. Now you did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So I will be um, just playing a wandering end. Okay. That is it. Uh,. Are you going to play a Frodo's Intuition? Oh, that's going to be later? Um, I would do it like Faramir. So, like, if if it gets us out of here, I'll do it. And you get to draw cards, though. Uh-huh. I get to draw three cards. Uh, okay. What Why do you... do you ask? Oh. What do I want? What do I want? Uh, do you want a resource? Uh, who can you give it to? Anyone you want. Name really? it. Uh, uh, any hero. How do you do that? Uh, but it has to be on my turn. Um, so if you're done your turn, I can pass you a resource. Yeah, I've done my turn, yeah. Okay. Watch this play. Uh, you're going to love this. Aowyn. You're going to really love this. So what do you want? I put it on Aow uh, Aowyn. Okay. Uh, Sam's giving Aowyn a resource. Thanks. And I am then playing Bulward of the West to discard my ally and get rid of your condition attachment. Cool! I have never seen that card played. That's the that's the key. Ever. Card. So I chose that card instead of I would say like Power of Orthanc because this is a very ally heavy deck and there's allies I want to see in the discard pile like Wow and Sword Elf. Stuff like that. I have never seen. That's awesome. Yeah, that's thanks. Neat, neat little combo. Uh, I'll pitch Elven Light that's great. for Elrond. I will immediately pull it back for a card. I will put double back in the staging area. Nice. 
Uh, wow. Okay. So what do we want? Do we want healing? Or do we want I firepower? I think firepower. I don't I mean... I mean, Treebeard. Treebeard is hurt, but... What, how are you defending? Durndingle Warrior. And he's safe? Well, I'm going to hit him and give him a defense of five. So he's five more or less safe. With what, so it can be plus... So he could take an unshadowed plus, you could take a Black one, Rider. A plus one at worst. I could take a plus one. And I don't actually mind if he dies. I mean, you know, let's be honest. Nope, I mind. Okay. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to pitch Glaio Wine, because I think you have one in your deck. I do. I don't see him, but I, I do. Oh, wait, no. I'm pitching Elven Light to heal one damage on any character. Okay. Thanks. I'll put a progress on it to say that I've done it. Uh, I will spend a resource to pull that back. This feels like cheating. Okay, ready for questing? You know it, brother. Four. Oh, I didn't even trigger Galdor's ability. <laughs> uh, I'm ringing ten. Okay, I am. And we are up against six right now. So I will toss one to put two on the Marish. I will toss. Yeah, it... If we actually use Mr. Underhill, it's gone from the whole campaign, right? Nope. I can't remember. Nope. It's not? Okay. So we might as well use it. Yep. All right? One. I don't think I'm going to be using Son of Arnor. Two. Two and three. Let's do that. So we'll go that, that, leave him on top. All right, well, I'm going to actually take tree beards too as well. Okay. Actually, no, in case of hide test. Sorry. All right. I'm sending 11. And we have so, four, so twenty-one six. to six. I like our chances. You get the Marish. The Marish. I get Evil Crow. Oh, there is another enemy. I'm sorry. What does it do? Well, it's engaged with the okay. player. That player adds one to the hide value of each hide test he makes. Okay. So we won by a lot. We won by ten. ten. <laughs> one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ba -ba -da -da. Escape to Buckland. Add Buckleberry Fairy to the staging area. Buckleberry Fairy says it's immune to artifacts. While there's at least one other location in play, the players cannot travel here. To travel, the first player must make a hide three test to travel here. And... Now, that means succeed at it. For all the people watching. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't just say do it and whatever happens, happens. I think you actually have to succeed at it. Gotcha. Would you agree? I think so. It doesn't actually say the first player must succeed at a hide test to travel here. Um, but I think that's the spirit of the card. Although someone watching knows. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, when revealed, the first player, unfortunately that's you, searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a black rider and reveals it. Okay. So once again, because we were lucky enough to draw all the black riders immediately, there we go. Uh, you okay. have a hide two test to make. Okay, so... Um... Don't screw this up. <laughs> I will 
do four. You pass. Okay. All right. After a player makes a successful high test, place two X progress on a non-unique location of play. X is twice the number of players in the game. So we get to put four progress anywhere we want. Put it on the Marish, please. Bop. Thank you. All right. And then um, let us travel to Pathless Country. All right. Now we do have a lot of evil people in the staging area. Yes, we okay. do. So I will take um, the Black Rider without the horse. OK. I will take the Black Rider with the horse. And I will take the evil crow. Ugh. Yeah. OK. So. I'm going to use Mr. Underhill this turn. That seems to make the most sense. Yeah, um, I'd say so. Do you want me to shut down your attack? Uh, I can handle my attack. Did you I actually... stand up. Oh, yeah, Sam's um, big. No, Sam's not. Well, that's right, he's not. Doi. Um, okay. Um, I do, however, draw a card. Oh, it's my favorite card in this deck. Ooh. Boromir. He's so perfect in this deck. Um, all right. Well. All right. Can you, can you suffer an attack or is it, are you kind of. Well, I'll be taking the evil crow undefended. Okay, we should underheal you. Um, all right, well, then I will sentinel you with the Durndingle Warrior. All right. So that's the other thing. It's like, uh, it's fine. So let's. Are you sure? Because I, I can Elrond this guy up. I mean, we probably don't even need. Are you sure we don't lose Mr. Underhill? Oh, yeah. It's a victory card. It's not a one time. Right. It'll but we don't move from the campaign pool. Okay. I can't remember if it says so on the flip side of the campaign card no. or something. No. Okay. All right. So then I'll miss under Underhill mine because why not? Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Don't worry. I can take mine. I have no sure. problems. With it. Yeah. No problem. Okay. So then what am I hitting my well, Nazgul for? Well, you got an attack first. Right. Um, Well, I'll defend. Oh, hey, that's a bummer. All right, and then I will defend. I will pitch a couple of cards first. I will pitch a Protector of Lurian. Yes, I know, and a Gleowine to bring myself up to five. Five. Okay. Nothing. Ah. Good to see that there. Yep. Okay, I have three arrows coming your way. Okay, so with that in mind, um, all right, I'm going to spend two off Treebeard to stand Quick Beam. All right, I'll take your arrows and Mary to kill my Black Rider. Because with Frodo here, I hit for seven. Okay. I will stand your Sea Watcher. And then I'll kill my Crow with Quick Beam. Cool. Now you should be able to hit your guy for something, right? Nope. <laughs> nope. One shy. Oh, well. That's all right. It's good to stand you up. Okay, so he goes back in there. Nice to go. Okay. Control in. I feel good. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Do we have to make progress here? We don't. <clears throat> so let's. Uh, I'm going to day round runes. We're going to go double back this turn. <laughs> Oops. I won't get rid of the 
pull back some cards here. Dude, I drew a faint. I feel good about that. Nice. All right, I just drew a whole crap ton of cards. Okay, good. Let's pitch an Elven Light. Give him a resource. He will spend two to put out a Mythwand Sea Watcher. I did trigger Galdor's ability. Hey, we've been making every hide test we're supposed to when those Black Riders come out, right? Yeah. Okay. I feel like we're doing well, so we must be cheating. Yeah. Like that kind of thing. All right. Do you need uh, both horses on her? Am I allowed to trigger that response uh, more than once? I don't see why not. It doesn't say one per he per hero. I mean, you might as well just put one on Elrond so you avoid it. So we can feel better about it. Oh, no, no I, I can definitely do it like this. Okay. This is totally... Yeah, legit. it doesn't say but per round one, or anything. To one horse, I can't commit as many cards as I want, can I? That seems cheaty. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, yeah. this is good. No. I see what you're saying. No. Yeah. All right. All right. Then we will go... Da -da -da -da. Like that. I will pull back and I'll enlighten. And that's my turn. Okay, I'm spending four already for Boromir. Notice I'm putting him right behind Frodo. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Oh, Frodo's actually on my team at the moment. He is. He is. Well, well. Ha. <laughs> Frodo? Frodo? Sorry. Donna, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So am I guessing you have no Frodo's Intuition in your deck? Certainly not. That's cool. All right. So I'm ready to quest when you are, sir. All right. I'll bring eight. One. Ten. Two. Three cards get pitched. Seven in the middle. So I'm at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I am sending. How do you still have so many cards in your deck? Uh, no, that's about right. What do you have? Do you have a thirty? Do you have like a seventy-two card deck? No, it's a fifty-four. I would have had in this one. All right, good. All right. Let's what are you bringing? Let's see, uh, thirteen. Is that too much? I'm overdoing it. I'm overdoing it. Well, I'll hold back, Frodo. High tests are more important. You know what? Because of that, so what do we got total? 21? 21 against 7. I'm actually going to leave Eowyn behind. All right. That gives us 17 to 7. I think that's fine. You know what? I'm going to pull 1 because I want to drop my threat. Okay. All right. 18 to 7. We just need to get out of Pathless Country. And so we not, need to win by one. We need to win by one and not pull a location. Right. My card is a location. <laughs> well, but you can steed it in just that away. It has to be active for me to steed it. Boo. Boo. All right. So this is my peril, eh? Oof. Um, you can't kill an Nazgul, right? Certainly cannot. I would one... Well, why don't you one ring this one? Well, nothing's engaging me. 
Uh, actually, there is a reason. There is a region. Oh, it's at it. It doesn't reveal it. Oh, hold on. I got it. Hold on. I'm getting screamed at. Sure. I'm choked because I actually want the hide test to happen. Uh, where player? Yeah, that does not provoke a hide test. Uh, we want that because the hide test will allow us to get out of this pathless country. Oh, never mind. It wouldn't. Plus four quest points while it's in the staging area. Well, so much for that. All right, so we're in uh, this part of the quest, are we? A lovely. Lovely. Uh, let's see, this one here. At the end of the phase, each enemy in the staging area engages the first player. If the one ring is exhausted, this effect cannot be canceled. Oh, okay, so that's okay. Uh, I am actually kind of agreeing with him and that perhaps we should one ring this guy. And then potentially we can pull something that delivers a high test. So I'm going to make that executive decision. That gets shuffled back in. And the card is... Wah, wah. <laughs> oh well. Man, children are needy. So I exhausted the One Ring in an attempt to make that Nazgul turn into something that gives us a high test. But instead I got another location. I tried. Okay. Well, might as well get rid of Pathless Country. So that's 11. So we win oh. by 7. We win by, yeah, 7. Drop your threat by 5. Thanks, I like that. Okay, so let's travel to um, Pathless Country. Let me just check here. Non-unique. Uh, you know what? Tell me. Can we go to Bamferlong? Because we're not allowed to place progress on there after high test. Because it's unique. After... Oh, I Whereas, see. Yeah, yeah. I, I know yeah. this is a long shot. But if we pull two things that give us high tests, we can get out of Pathless Country next turn. No, that's great. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. Um, I will take the other... I'll take the Nazgul. All right. Okay. I'm going to damage him for one. He now has defense five. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay. It's all right. Could, could the caregiver quick heal? Yes. Treebeard? I'm going to pitch a Galdor of the Havens to heal okay. Treebeard. See Thank what you. I did there, folks? See what I did there? Nice. I've got six uh, arrows coming your way. He will defend the additional attack. Plus two attack. So he's, so he's hitting seven. me for seven. Thank God you healed that. Yeah. Because he's hit for four. I'm going to pitch Lindir and heal you for two. Okay. Don't really need it right this minute, but thanks. Oh, I forgot to give me a resource. Um, okay. All right. So. Six arrows coming your way. All right. Well, I mean, this guy super dead. Um, he's really not alive anymore. All right. So I've got all these standing dudes. Though. That's the problem. Oh well. Oh well. Control N. It's a good state to be in. Ha. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, there's my other elven light. Um, okay, I am pulling back two Elven Lights. That lets me draw three because of Galdor. Um, pitch an Elven Light. I'm just doing that. Elrond. 
move that to Elrond. One, two, three. Veteran Sword Elf. I believe I have one of them. Yeah. All right. We're good. Okay, hold on a sec. All right. Um, what do we got in the middle right now? Is just five. Okay. I'll bring one, two, pull back one. I'll bring four. How much are you bringing? Oops, that's the wrong hotkey. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. You're not bringing Sam? Uh, nope, I want high test. Shenanies. Who's first player? Me, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm also pitching um, in Elven Light for to get rid of Bound for Long. I'm bringing six. Not that I needed to pitch that for Bound for Long. You know what? I really don't need it. Nope, I am. Because there's something in the staging area. I thought there was something that made you auto travel to something. I mean, yeah. Let's just nope. let's just avoid that. Don't forget that Pathless Country. Ugh. Yeah, I know. That's fine. I know. Your card uh, is a woody end. Of course. Reduce the height X to oh wow, okay. What really? Really? All right, well, we got to get out of the stock road stat. Um, nine in the staging, so we beat it by five. Not that it matters. Okay. Yeah, let's try. Let's head to the stock road. road. My uh, God. So, what do we? I got will make here? a hide one to do it, and I will commit four, six, eight, um, Twelve. ten to it. <laughs> ten. Uh, oh, we're I actually supposed went. to reduce that by one, weren't we? Nope, because Woody End is not All active. Right. Okay, so we get to put four progress on the location. Um, I will put it on Pathless Country. Pathless Country. Actually, we don't have. We have no choice. It has to be a non-unique uh, location. Yep. Sadly, it doesn't get rid of it. It does not. But we're in a good spot. We are. We're fine. Awesome. I guess control N. Uh, where did my guys go? I need more information than that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You must have abandoned them to their fate. Do I? All oh, right. Now people are lighting fireworks a day early. Oh yeah. Why not? Why not? All right, so control N. Ooh, end draft. Okay. Ooh, what do you have in your discard pile? Me? Yeah, just curious. Not a lot of stuff. Eh, nothing I want at the moment. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I have nothing to spend money on, dude. Okay, pitching an Elven Light for a resource on Arwen. Okay. Uh... That's it. Done? I'm done. Okay, I'm going to put Hent Draft on Treebeard. Let's pull the card back. Actually, I'm going to put it on this guy. Let's pull a card back. Nice. 
go and uh, get a card from Galdor. Awesome. What a crazy card he is. I love it. Yeah. All right. So I'm pitching three cards. Hey, can one of those cards be a healing on my Durndingle Warrior? Uh, sure. I'll discard a Steed for that. Thanks. All right. Do you need a resource for anything? Hmm. No. Okay. Unless you just don't really need them at all. Uh, I could use them. Then don't. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Burning Brand. All right. Dude, put it on, uh, Treebeard. Can I? I can't. You can. He's not lore. Oh, right. He sure isn't. All right. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Again. In the middle, we have one, three, six. Um. I'm bringing. I'm bringing only eight. Okay. Uh, my card. It's a pro. Your card. I don't want that. Although, do no, that's fine. No, we don't want it. Why? I can kill them immediately. Because if we get something that gives us a high test, it helps us. The the Nazgul does. But it's add. It adds it to the staging area. It doesn't reveal it. I think that still gets a high test. What? When no. an encounter card with a high X keyword is revealed. Yeah. Oh, it's like they knew it. That's a bummer. We may end up pulling the same card anyway, because there's only five cards in the deck. No, oh, we did it again. All right, so... Ugh. We'll get through. We're, we're slowly getting rid of all of these victory locations. Well, you might as well get rid of Stock Road. Yeah. Well, no, um, why, no don't get rid of cards. You don't need to. We get through there naturally. Okay, so the stock um, road is gone. We uh, have to travel to Woody End. Yeah. Because it's the only way we'll get rid of it. Okay. Um, I'll take the bird. And I'll defend him. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to kill him with Boromir. Boom. He dead. Yep. So here's the deal. I mean, this is just time, right? I, 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 I know the scenario well enough to know, like, we cannot lose it. We'll see. <laughs> like, I, I really... <laughs> okay, but... I've actually never had this scenario do this to me. In, really? I, I've been players. kind of like waiting on the ferry for a long ass time. Um, but yeah. Okay. Another eight. Yeah, we want to draw some Nazgul's. How weird is that? Right. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love it. Okay. I'll bring another Durnding Warrior to play. Ditching an Elven Light to give. Yeah, we're going to give it the resource to Arwen. We're going to immediately pull it back. I'm done. Okay, me too. Okay. Now the dream draw right now would actually be two black riders. It would. It really would. So seven, because I could kill them both. 
All right, so seven. Uh, I'm just gonna is in the middle. Of and light shenanigans here. Okay. And as my third drop, I'm gonna drop a veteran sword elf to okay. boost this guy up to a three, three, three. Nice. Okay. I'm bringing Pippin, Frodo. How much are you bringing? Uh, 11 as usual. Okay, I'll just bring four. My card. Nope. My card. Your card is. Black Rider. No! Rider. I'm gonna, let's peril it. Or let's uh, one ring it. No wait, we can't. There's only one card left in the deck. It's just gotta happen. Why is that? Because they're just gonna reveal it. Yeah, okay, hold on a sec. Stock road is 10. There it is. Okay. Uh, but that just gets added. Why don't you in throw it engaged with me? Which yeah. is your other option. Let's do that. Then I, then I draw a card. And we get the heck out of here. Okay. All right. We'll go to Stock Road. I will make a hide test to get out of there. All right. Hide one. I will take Aon and Treebeard. What is that? Six. I think you should do more because we're adding two to the threat. Keep in Why? mind you've got uh, from Stock Road. Oh no, never mind. That's it's only when area. it's in staging. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? Although that I was would... interesting. Is it not active yet? I don't actually know. Like. Okay, but keep in mind, I'm sending six arrows your way. So. You All right. Can... I mean, I'll take eight. How's that? Okay. Okay. It's a hide one test. Oh. Yep, that is absolutely right. Let's just shuffle that guy. Um, uh, so no matter what the rule is, we got out. Yeah. So with that puts four on... Uh, let's get rid of Pathless Country. Um, all right. All right. Okay, I'm going to wake up. I'm not going to wake up Treebeard just yet. All right, so I'm going to... I guess it's fight time, right? Yeah. Who's defending? Okay, I'm going to ding him. He's now five defense. Okay, that's a bounce. And then... Uh, Mary... We're just going to totally jump on this guy. Yep. All right, and I'm going to stand Boromir. I did it again, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> okay, sadly I can't do peace and thought. Oh well. Oh well. I just don't need to. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Ooh, arrows from the trees. I like that one. It's an interesting card in this deck. I've used it once. Pull back. Oh, look at you. You uh, have Frodo now. Oh, that's right. There he is. Da -da 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 -da. Look who's come to join the party. Oh, hey, Glorfindel. You're always a sight for sore eyes. Isn't he? Isn't he? All right. Okay. Uh, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, let's give a resource too. Now I'm just waiting for Gandalf to appear in my deck. All right. I am pitching an Elven Light to put two on Stock Road, and I am pulling it back. Okay. And I am spending three, six. 11, 
14 this time. I'll send six. My card is. Yes. Uh, I will send Elrond for six. And I will send a veteran for and Sam for nine. This is a I like your chances. Hide two. Okay. So that is a four because of stock road, which means I get to put four progress on green hills. It's only a two, but it doesn't matter. I put four progress on. Right. No, but stock road is only adding the. Oh yeah, yeah. When it's staging. But your card. Doom two. Okay. Does it say? Starting with the last player, each player must return and as well, or make a hide two. Um, I'll make a hide two. Okay. What do you bring? That is. Oh, hold on, I got that six. I'm bringing eight. Okay. Eight to two. Uh, I will pitch a card to Ready Glorfindel. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two of five. Okay. All right. So we make a lot. Uh, oh, we could put look that on this location if we want. Sure. <laughs> I say we travel to Buckleberry Ferry. Oh, you know what? You have to make a hide three test. Yep. Totally goof that. Totally goof that. Um. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? All right. What do we got here? Wait, 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 wait. Um, shit. You want to retcon it or not? We're still in the quest phase. Yeah, because I, I would, what did I send? I sent 10 last time. Right. I mean, I could have held Two. back three. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I know, I know, but that was dumb of me. You got excited. I got really excited. So, but I do have this. Okay. Well, I'll just stand Glorfindel again, right? I can't. I've already used his ability. No, you didn't. That was in the quest phase. It's still the quest. Oh, that's right. It's travel phase. Oh, never mind, guys. Never mind. I didn't cheat at all. So I'm bringing six. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. Six to four. <laughs> All right, we travel with the Buckleberry Ferry. Right. The Buckleberry Ferry. And we just have All to right. get out of here. Well, that's going to be one turn away. All right. There's zero in the staging area. There's Gandalf. I have two cards left in my deck. Okay. Shall we draw it out? Hold on, I need to do one, two, three, four, five. I'll bring Gandalf. And I'm going to have him oh reduce my threat. Actually that's just silly, but I'm gonna do it. Frodo is mine. Here's a gather information. The last card in my deck. How's that for fun? I say we go there. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, we are at, uh, we need nine, nine, four, six, eight, twelve, fourteen. I'll bring uh, eighteen. I am bringing. 14. 20. I'm bringing 20.
I'll bring 22. Okay, 14. Okay, so we're bringing 36 to zero. Do you like our chances? Yep, actually, you know what? Let me do this. I'm actually not bringing Eowyn, just in case we're hiding this last time. 16, 17, I'm bringing 18. Okay. My card. The Marish. Okay. Doom 2. I'm glad I dropped my threat. Okay. You need to make a nothing. Game over, son. We passed by a heck of a lot. I think we passed by 33. Woohoo! Okay. Well, that's awesome. That is totally awesome. So. Hey, flip that card. What do, can I read this one? Go ahead. Please do. The ferry boat moved slowly across the water. The Buckland shore drew near. Sam was the only member of the party who had not been over the river before. He had a strange feeling as the slow, gurgling stream slipped by. His old life lay behind him in the mists. Dark adventure lay in front. He scratched his head and for a moment had a passing wish that Mr. Frodo could have been quietly at Bag End. We oh. get to choose either Gandalf's delay or the ring draws them. I don't mind Gandalf's delay in this deck. To be quite honest. It's really the mulligan issue. Yeah, the ring draws them. What, let's talk about this. When revealed at the end of the phase, each enemy in the staging area engages the first player. If the one ring is exhausted, this can't be canceled. Oh, and it surges like. Yeah. Okay. I. I but it's I, my deck. Doesn't care about it. Yours. Yours has a more elaborate uh, setup. So I understand if you want the ring draws them in. But that just means all your tests of wills have to go to that. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it has a potential to really can us. I've always taken it, so actually I don't mind switching it up and taking Gandalf's delay. Okay, great. All right, then we can then. choose Gildor and Glorian or Mr. Underhill. I am a super fan of Gildor and Glorian, except that we are not packing Shadow of the Past. So, right. um, less funky here. I, well, I mean, let's talk about it. So I have Faint in this deck. Um, and I have a whole bunch of powerful ends. So, um, I don't mind still taking Gildor. But by the, to by the other token is, we actually don't need him because of all the powerful ends. Right? So everything right. he adds is already sort of exists in our decks. Unless he shows up like early in a quest, right? Yeah, he's. He doesn't so I feel search. like Mr. Underhill is more universally helpful to us than another strong character. Because, like, we have a bunch of those, right? Like, the reason I like him isn't just the strong character, it's the mitigating a draw. He doesn't surge. Yeah. But once again, I've never taken Mr. Underhill. He also, I mean, he also stays forever, you know? I mean, like. Well, or could I mean? No. We take it no, but I mean like you you spend one resource to keep him around. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm good at Mr. Underhill. Let's take Mr. Underhill. It will save us in an early game shitstorm like we had today. And by the way, Mike, I am really glad we did not scoop. Yeah, that I didn't. I didn't think we needed to. It was just sort of like a. It was like... It was really close, though. No, but it was like the ultimate like proof that these two decks are fine. You know what I mean? Like, end of round one, we had three Nazgul in the staging area, and we made it. Yeah. And yeah. so... That's a testament to this game, I think, kind of. I think so. Like you can you can do that. You don't have to quit. Like, it was a shitstorm at start, and we weathered it. And I think we pretty much cruised this entire time. 
of just waiting for Buckland Ferry to become available. Yeah, it took know? a couple of rounds, but once we hit our stride, boy, did we hit our stride. We really, I mean, your deck is just phenomenal. I mean, it's it absolutely, going? like, just the gears and the wheels within wheels, it just, it's, an, it's a machine, you it's... know? And mine is just, mine's just ends. So once, <laughs> like, round six happens, and, it, and if you can draw a tree beard opening, like, it's just... Yep. You know, and we um, never use this, but I. It's a really good card for. You did one. My deck. Yeah, I don't. No, like I that. never did. I have three in my hand right here. Oh. I never. I probably should have at one point, but I never did. Oh my. Well, that's a great question. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be fun. I think. I think we're, these are good decks. Yeah, um, the only thing we're really missing is stuff to place progress on things in the staging area. Right. And I'm also I mean, this is not a particularly difficult quest. Right? Right. So I'm really I'm I'm really curious to see what happens in like a monster quest or or uh, we didn't talk about this, but I would like to do the two Oh heck yeah. Two, yeah, the two fellowship. Uh, quests. You did not talk about this, but uh, when you were off doing your thing, I oh, you did. Okay, had a brief little discussion of how I love the boons from that quest. Yeah, so that's old forest, and what's the other one? I forget. Fog on the Barrow Downs. Fog of the Barrow Downs, right? Um, I think those are interesting quests. Um, they're really hard. Yep. So I it'll be interesting to see okay. how how these quests do. I played both of that. So I I did a solo campaign with this deck that I'm playing. And I got I got the quest four before we we decided we would do this, so I oh sort of stopped. And um, I beat both of those quests solo with this deck. All right. And it was interesting because I was like really truly getting the shit beat out of me for the first three rounds, and then this deck just wakes up, and like the ants wake up, and you don't need many ants in solo to be waking up. Yeah, yeah. You know, like this. You know, like just this guy and Treebeard can deal with stuff. Yeah. You know, in solo, cause you're not getting so. It, it's. I'm curious to see what what is going to look like with those two. Nice. All right. So now is is Gandalf's delay with us forever? I can't remember. I think. Or does it go away after a couple? things like mr underhill eventually okay. goes away the, yeah so the boons eventually go away the burdens never go away but spoiler alert the fellowship breaks up uh, when that happens gandalf's delay follows frodo's group oh, okay so a third of our campaign will not be using it okay all right well, that's cool well, that was fun. This was awesome. Mike. Yeah, thank you. I'm, thank I'm you, so Dan. glad we're starting a campaign because it's, yeah, I don't know the, the random willy nilly stuff of like our other Lord of the Rings ones where we end up playing the same quest a lot. And this is good. Yeah, I'm excited I'm to see excited. where this goes. Um, excited to see what happens in this deck with slightly different draws because um, it's got a it's a good deck, but it needs Elven Light and Sword of Gondor to sing. And I want to see what happens if that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I like that you're cursing your deck just for science. Well, that's nice. I know. I know. I totally cool. appreciate that. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm glad we're back. I, I, I hope we're getting back onto our weekly schedule. Yep. We're going to try. Um, we're going to try. Nice. So. Okay. We won, we won for Angela. This is good. We said we would. Awesome. We did it. And we didn't scoop. And we didn't scoop for her. And I think that, that might be telling. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Good Thanks night, all. Good night.